last thing then a, a summary if you if you want to just sum up the discussion today and if you could say like including some just advice for someone who's listening to music and who's struggling to get off music for example and they really want to uh, they want to leave music after listening to this podcast what kind of advice would you give this person well I the, the point I mentioned about Ibn al-Jawz rahimahullah what he said in his Talbis Iblis yanbaghi lil aqil an yansaha nafsahu wa ikhwanahu wa yahdhar Talbis Iblis fi jara'i hadha al-ghina al-muharram majra al-aqsab al-mutaqaddimah allati yutlaq alayha ism al-ghina fala yahmil al-kull al-mahmalan wahidan wa yaqulu qad abahahu fulan wa karihahu fulan Wallahi, this is the way that shaitan gets to a person. And it's been from the deceptions of shaitan. I found myself personally that many people who've been struggling with sins, who've been yani, falling to zina, who, yani, they, it's through music. Music, killing, zina, all of it, it makes it f- easy. Specifically, the lyrics they use, it makes it people. Also, this concept of depression and anxieties, this is, it gives you it. A lot of people they connect themselves to it. I know people who who told me that I listen to when I'm sad this music, mm. and when I'm happy I listen to this music, and when I'm reading I, I want to I'm walking I do I listen to this music, and when I do this I'm, and then what happens to them is when they strip themselves from the music, they're dark. They mm. feel they're feeling hurt and heartbroken. You see, it's kind of like a drug, and you have withdrawal symptoms when you get off a drug. Like you're not you you can't function. You can't function. Also the the يعني, the many ill, يعني, many محرمات, يعني, zina, 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 boyfriend and girlfriend, and it comes through lyrics. Women talking about men, men talking about women. Uh, all of this makes somebody want to go commit zina. Hmm. And want to have you know sexual intercourse with someone that is not halal for them. Because it becomes normal. Like you heard this lyrics, it was said, and you heard this lyrics, it was said, and this lyrics, it becomes normal to you. Yeah. And you lose them. One of the greatest qualities a person should have, which is shyness, haya. Mm, become desensitized to it how you used it and the I prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he told us in a hadith istahyu min allah haqq al haya be shy of allah the way he deserves to be shy of this and is actually a good answer to a lot of people who sorry to inter- interject so a lot of people ask that what is the heart like uh, murdering someone you're taking someone's life there's a clear harm there is in that even you'll probably give birth to a child who in a, a family where the dad's going to run away for example there's a clear harm there music is has no harm you're just in your own house you're not harming the society you're not harming the people but as you mentioned here there are many many reasons and many harms that occur from that and what it leads to as a good answer for that, that, that shubha yeah yeah it does and uh the hadith I was mentioning, which is that the Prophet said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Istahyu bin Allah haqqa al-haya, be shy of Allah the way he deserves to be shy of. And the Sahaba says, Ya Rasulullah, inna nistahyu min Allah. Alhamdulillah, we are shy of Allah the way he deserves. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Man istahya bin Allah haqqa al-haya, the one who is shy of Allah the way he deserves to be shy of. Falyahfadhi al-ra'sa, let him protect his head and everything on it. Your head and everything that's on it. Walbatna and the stomach, wa ma hawa and everything that's in it. Don't eat what is haram. So what's it on your head that you need to protect? Your eyes, your ears, your mouth. All of these you need to protect it. Mm. And the stomach, meaning don't eat one. Then the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, um, Remember death and the day you're going to stand in front of Allah. So, why do you want to listen to music when you have the Quran? Mm. والله هذا القرآن في لو أنزلنا هذا القرآن على جبل إلا رأيته خاشعا متصدعا من خشية الله وتلك الأمثال نضربها للناس لعلهم يتفكرون the Quran you have the book of Allah right in front of you this Quran came down on the mountain in Kumbu not only that Allahumma barik you have beautiful reciters who touch your heart penetrate your heart the recitation of the Quran when you listen to it well, يعني anyone who has the Quran and has Mahmoud Khalil al-Husari and Manshawi والله I don't يعني سبحان الله Haqiqatan, Mahmoud Khalil al-Husari and Manshawi and these great imams of the Qur'an, when you have them, why would you ever want to listen to anyone else? Or somebody else? Or why would you want to listen to music? Also, um, I know a lot of brothers who are very good brothers, very good, shy, good to their parents. They listen to this stuff. They lost everything. They lost their wives, they lost their children, they lost, they lost their... You know the the respect they had for their parents and the good kids they were. I, I, I Allah, he's never saw in my heart life the course of my life that I've lived. I have not seen, and I'm I don't really generally like these blank statements like this. I haven't seen anything that can destroy a person 
the way that uh, uh, our uh, music can. The reason is because everything comes from it. Mm. Zina comes from it. Liwat comes from it. Alcohol comes from it. Murdering comes from it. Bad friends come from it. And it's it's the source of all evil, especially at our time. I always used to ask back in the days, always used to ask people, I used to say to them, whenever they come and they complain to me about, I'm trying to, do you listen to music? Mm. That was one of my first questions that I had on my on my discussion with them. If he says yes, I'll say, first of all, stop that. Yeah, and you'll pray, you'll fast, you'll be very good to be your parents, everything. This thing, subhanAllah, you know, these headphones that they put in and they listen to, and they, it's made, it's made people monsters. Young youths that you're seeing, uh, you, they're in a civilized world, yani the, yani Europe, yani some of them tell me, well, like, for two, three days, I haven't eaten, man. I'm hungry, I haven't eaten for two, three days, I'm starving. You what you look at him, he, you know, he's not clean. His nails are dirty. His clothing's, yeah. And the situation is sad, Allah. And a lot of it because, and we, we look at it. Be honest. A lot of these brothers, his names are Abdullahi and Ahmed and Khalid and Zayd, Zainab and Amina and Fatima. They grew up in a house where their mums are, yeah. And Quran was played when they, you know, they were going to Duxi on Saturday, Sunday, Quran classes on Saturday, Madrasa on Saturday, mm. Sunday. And a good parents, a good household. Where did they learn about? Uh, I'm looking after my ends, my turf, yani my 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 yani my yani postcode. Mm. What postcode are you talking about? You're from Somali, African skin. <laughs> it's غريب. Well, it's غريب, غريب جدا. Mm. What, what postcode do you know? Like, please just. Mm. This is owned by the Queen. It's owned by the, either the Conservative Party or the Labour Party. This is not your postcode. Mm. Fight. And then when he moves from that postcode, he moves to another, he's fighting for the other postcode <laughs> and the other ends. And it comes from the gangster rap and the hip hop and the things mm. like that. Mm. Where did he, he got that from? Another guy in America, يعني, who's not a Muslim, who يعني, fell off in life, who يعني, even the non Muslims see him to be the lowest of the lowest. These rappers are the lowest of the lowest. And Aradil. Yeah. And then Muslims are looking at them like But many Muslims actually look up to him And almost idolize him to a certain and extent And his name is Ahmed يعني Fatima, Her name is يعني, يعني Why are you looking up to A non-Muslim Kafir And not even he's just Kafir Because there are Kafir who are educated or learned or anything like that Why are all of the things you could have copied The non-Muslims in If you don't want to listen You still want to copy the non-Muslims why are you listening? Why are you watching these ones? Mm. Do you understand my point? Yeah. It's weird. You know, the people today, sad, but we think civilization is following the non-Muslims in the things that, yani, it doesn't bring honor to Islam. Yani, why would you follow the Muslims in football? Why would you follow the non-Muslims in music? Why would you follow the non-Muslims in clothing? Why would you, all of that is no value. If you really want to follow them, follow them in technology and how mm -hmm. they do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Follow them in the worldly progression they've come with. You don't. You're backwards on that. <laughs> You're following these things. Mm. It's gharib, gharib, yeah. Also, the people who've given you these fatwa that music is allowed, and you can mm. sing and do music, remember they're not going to come with you Yom Al Qiyamah. You're going to be alone. You're going to be questioned, Imam Allah Ta'ala, by yourself. And these people who give this fatwa to the people, I ask them one question. When you came out and you gave this fatwa to the people and you say music is a difference of opinion, one question I have, I don't want to ask you any other question, just one question. Did you feel that the ummah was so backwards for not listening to music that you felt that it was a necessary thing for you to come forward and say to them, music is a difference of opinion, listen to it. There's a difference of opinion, listen to it. That's the first question I ask. And the last I ask, if you don't, if that's not the case, then... There's many other things you could have told the Muslims to do. I conclude there, inshallah.